Sometimes I gotta take my own pictures because these bitches don't be wanting to take my picture. Hi dolls, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, I'm Jalen Day. Welcome to my channel. So today I'll be working with Nudula Hair. I'll be installing their hair. Um, inside the box it comes with a stocking cap. I've already put one in but it's good to always have extra and it comes with a scarf as well. The wig that I'll be installing is a 13 by 14 frontal, 24 inches and it is in the texture straight and the lace is medium brown. Right now I'm just blow drying the wig so when I straighten it, it'll be like bone straight. I also already plucked it as well and bleached the knots so basically I'm just going to install it. And also I just want to let y'all know this will be my first time really like installing my own wig and actually trying to do a good job. Lately I just been wanting to learn for myself and to be able to do it myself whenever I want. So you guys are definitely going to be seeing more hair videos. And hopefully I can get this install thing together, okay? If you'd want to we could cook some dinner, light some candles if you want to. Maybe I am coming on too strong. Maybe this is too much. The flat iron I'm using is a baby bliss pro. It goes up to 450 degrees. This one is the one and a half inch, but I bought the combo, so it comes with a one inch and a one and a half. bio silk to put all over the hair just to give the hair a little more shine and so it can be a little more silky my wax stick and moving those baby hairs back and then I'm going to use my hot comb and comb that back with it so the baby hairs can just be out of the way. Now I'm just going in with my Ruby Kisses cream foundation and I'm going to put that all over the lace and I've already put some on my cap. So when I was putting it on my cap and my lace, I kind of just mixed the colors because I'm not really sure which one was my exact tone. And like I told y'all guys at the beginning, this is not a transparent or HD lace. This was a medium brown lace. So when the lace is different, you kind of have to just see if you should go lighter or darker. So that's what I was doing here. Just mixing the colors, trying to see what matches my skin tone the best. So now I'm just going 
going in with ghost bond glue basically putting it um all on the perimeter of my cap and then i will go in with the end of my razor and basically spread that evenly across One thing I do want y'all to know is when you're doing this, you need to make sure that it's like not clumpy and that it's spread evenly because if it's clumpy, it'll show under your lace. And also the number of times you want to apply the glue is really up to you. A lot of stylists and people usually do three times or four times, but I did two times because I don't plan on keeping this wig in for long and I don't want it to be harder to take off. And one more thing, do not apply the lace until the glue is clear. If the glue is not clear, that means it is not dry, it is not ready. If you leave the glue white, it will show under the lace. using my razor and cutting the lace off I've learned that using the razor is better than using scissors because the razor lets you get like a jagged edge and it just looks more natural than just cutting the lace straight across with scissors Strong. maybe this is too much maybe all of this is wrong baby I've been missing you like crazy lately I did end up messing up just a little bit. I cut too much of the lace off because it wasn't um, glued on very good. But I ended up just rocking with it and adding some got to be glue spray and getting the lace back secured, okay? We just gotta keep going. Baby, I've been missing you like crazy lately. So now to these baby hairs. I really was just doing anything, y'all. I was just looking at a picture and seeing where they baby hairs was and trying to get mine to look something like that. Some TV, watch some Netflix if you want. You, you. 
So right here, I was just adding got to be glue spray behind the baby hairs. Just trying to push the hair back so it won't be too much like flat on my face. just watching this gets me excited all over again like I did something okay I got that color together I got that lace melted in and I'm lit period but now I'm just going back in um, with some of my foundation just to get spots that I may have missed but other than that your girl is done and this hair is like super soft let me show y'all how long it is on me so it's this long on me and I'm 5'2", so it's long enough for me. And the hair is super soft and silky and I kind of like finesse the lace. So let's just get into it. Y'all, so I'm about to go get my makeup done. Uh, my appointment's at 1.30 and I'm gonna be five minutes late. <laughs> I just hate being late when I go to appointments, even if it's like one minute. I like to be on time in there so yeah i'm late because i was really going to the wrong address and i knew something was adding up and i had to turn around y'all see i took the pink seat covers off i don't know why i still had them on there i thought it came with the back seat covers when i ordered it and it did not so i was like whatever i took it off because it was starting to annoy me but check out the hair i'm just like really so proud of myself for doing my own hair because I be stressed out with these stylists. These stylists really be giving you a heart attack. You can't book with them because they booked or they ain't even open but three days out of the whole month. Then when you booked, you stressed out your whole process before getting your hair done because they're not answering your messages, your questions. They don't see you the address until two hours before your appointment. Then you gotta drop your wig off five days before your appointment. Your hair didn't even come in yet, but they wanted five days to customize it, but they don't customize it till you get there. So I just be so confused with everything and the whole process with some of these stylists because it just really be making me mad. And I'm just to a point where I'm like, forget this. I'm about to learn how to do my own hair. They be wanting too much out of us and hardly even be doing this right because why are my edges and stuff be gone the next day? So I'm like, look, I'm gonna do my hair and take my time. At least if I mess up or my edges messed up, I can fix it because I be wanting to change my hair every week.
y'all see that? She's still playing. She not one of them. So I'm back home, y'all, and I'm about to open a gift. It's a tail fair bag or tail fur, far tail fur. I'm not sure. It's one of those. This company is black owned and I've been wanting one of these bags like forever. And every time I try to go to the site, they be sold out in every color and every size. But my boyfriend came through and got me one. So I'm about to open it with y'all. I've been waiting to open it. So it just comes in this little bag. Okay, cool. Y'all, I'm so excited. I really don't even want to open it because it's just like it's a new bag and I don't even want to use it. I don't want to get it messed up. I don't want to do anything. Y'all look how freaking cute. I'm so freaking excited. I want to take it with me out tonight, but I just know it's going to get dirty. Oh, look how cute this is. It's really giving me Barbie vibes. So this is the medium bag. So they have a small, medium, and extra large or large bag. This is the medium. So these strings aren't adjustable, but you can always wear it like this too and put them inside. But basically this is how it looks. When we get in here, oh, gotta take this off. It better be authentic, period. Ow, let me get some scissors. So the inside is looking like this. It has a pocket in there and just a big space to put your stuff. But now I want all the bags. I want the blue one, I want the black one, I want the tan one. I'm really concerned about when dirt gets on it. So I need to look up how people clean these or if we can clean these. Cause I'm just thinking like if I have makeup on my hands and then touch the bag. That's my only concern. This is bubblegum pink. So you really gotta like be careful with this bag. Okay y'all, so I'm about to go take pictures before I go out. And Joy's gonna take my picture. So I have this Paris and then some clear heels and then I'm just wearing this little shirt that I tied up and some jeans. Honestly, I don't think so why you guys bother at this point. Like, it's me, I win. You lose! We know a good parking garage picture always come in clutch, but I want to be different, so we gonna drive around and find me a spot, period. And I didn't forget, I'm still gonna, um, I'm still gonna set up a video to show y'all how I take my own pictures, cause sometimes I gotta take my own pictures, cause these bitches don't be wanting to take my picture. Girl? Your phone ringing. <sighs> Girl, it's probably my man. Told you, there ain't nobody else. He always calling. Hello. Who I'm talking to? <laughs> what did I say? Oh. <laughs> so I found a place that I want to take pictures at. It's just random. We buy uh, a bank. Oh. 